the lioness does not hesitate to join him there. The battle seems hopeless. Yet, while his life hangs by a thread, however slender it might be, the zebra will fight till his dying breath. What happens next is unprecedented. A scene for the record books. A zebra trying to drown a lioness. The wounds inflicted on the young stallion are superficial. He should survive. The lioness, on the other hand, has been dealt a more serious blow. Her pride has been wounded. How great is that one, guys? <laughs> Ja, 
The long grass offers perfect cover. The trap is set. The ambush works. The zebra's death cries alert the rest of the family. They eat the zebra alive. With 18 lions pinning down their quarry, the pride is in no danger of being kicked. Pemba manages to squeeze in in front. But there isn't space for them all. The only option is double-decker feeding. TB Lioness loses her place. The teenage males just bully their way in. Jostling for position, many faces are slashed. Even Whitehead, the Mega Pride's eldest female, has a tough time negotiating space. When they split the carcass open, the adolescents fight for the softer inter. With the rib cage exposed, the zebra is easy to tear apart, so each lion fights for a good ripping position. Enjoying a joint alone is the ultimate prize. They won't all be successful, but nothing goes to waste. They consume muscle, bone, and skin. While some Pride members are sated, others wait for the last scraps. This 250 kilogram zebra won't fill them all. On an empty stomach, the lionesses and juveniles can each gorge 25 kilograms of meat. So for a feast, 25 kilograms times 18 lions means they're one zebra short. The rest of the females must work harder to feed their family. In April, the dry season arrives and slowly transforms Singida. The grazing herds struggle to find any succulent green grass. A change has also taken place in the Mega Pride. The adult females need support to catch enough food, and the adolescents are now old enough to learn effective hunting techniques. Tawny, Duclaw and Whitehead take the juveniles for a lesson. The novices take their cue from Whitehead. Some animals are better left alone. Impala would offer perfect practice. But this herd's seen the youngsters, robbing the lions of the element of surprise. Tawny has her sights set on something larger. 
A giraffe would make a fine meal. position themselves to cut off the giraffe when it bolts. Tawny begins to stalk. Whitehead and Duclaw stay behind her and reinforce the catchers. 